the distribution below gives the weights of 30 students of a class find the median weight of the students they have to students ka weight given a ye class interval hai aur unke corresponding number of students given hai aapko. total students kitne aapke pas 30 so with this information we have to find the median weight of the students now again aapko maalum hai median ke liye aapko cumulative frequency ke zarurat padegi to pehle wo column bana lete hai ye 2 as such 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 8 is 13 13 plus 6 is 19 19 plus 6 25 25 plus 3 28 and 28 plus 2 30 so this is your cumulative frequency gaya. now since n is 30 therefore n by 2 is 15 and this 15 kaha lai kar raha hai? is 19 ke andar so this is your median class hai. therefore median class is 55 to 60 so the lower boundary of median class L is how much you know 55 and the frequency of median class F wo kitna hai aapke paas? 6 and the frequency of the class preceding the median class ye median class ki thik pehle jo class hai uski frequency I mean cumulative frequency bolne chahiye jisko CF bolte hai hum thik hai dhyan rakhye ga mene galti se frequency bola tha humko cumulative frequency chahiye to cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class wo kitna hai aapka? 13 class size H agar aap dekhe to wo 5 ka hai bas ab sari value substitute karke solve karna we know that median is L plus n by 2 minus cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class over frequency of the median class into class size now L aapke pass have 55 plus sorry yaha pe plus aega 55 plus n by 2 is 15 minus cumulative frequency is 13 over F is 6 into H is 5 which gives us 55 plus 15 minus 13 is 2 2 by 6 जब आप करेंगे तो 1 by 3 हो जाएगा ये ठीक है 1 by 3 मतलब 5 by 3 finally ठीक और 5 by 3 आपको मालूम है 1.66 होता है तो ये 55 plus 1.66 तो finally आपको मिलेगा 56.66 तो ये actually kg में आएगा ठीक है आपको क्योंकि kg में given है तो finally आप लिखेंगे therefore या hence भी लिख सकते हैं median weight of the students is 56.66 kgs so this completes our solution by this we come to an end of the exercise 14.3 let us now move on to the last exercise of the chapter